beautiful humans and welcome back to another episode of Music Reactions with your girl Schnell Jordan. Welcome to my channel guys. If this is your first time tuning in, please do hit that subscribe button and join the family. All right, my friends, so we are doing another postmodern jukebox reaction today. What is happening? <laughs> However, today I am doing a reaction to a PMJ collaboration with another artist who is not Haley Reinhardt but her name is Morgan James. So you guys have requested this one a lot in the comment section. So, and I am, I have been on a postmodern jukebox train ride right now. So <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> so this one, um, one of the main reasons why I chose this song too is because they have done a cover of Aerosmith, Dream On. Aerosmith has, is literally one of my favorite 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 artist of all times oh my god he is just one badass you know guy with crazy vocals like he can really 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 sing so anyone who tries to attempt his songs i'm just like i'm curious and i want to see because his voice is so unique and his vocal range is just next level so i am Really looking forward to this one, and especially Dream On is a very difficult song to sing because, you know, towards the end, he takes this really crazy high note, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this is all about. So, before I begin, my question, are you guys ready for my question of the day? Would you rather read an awesome book, or would you rather watch a really, really good movie? Which one? If you had to put, pick one of the two, which one would it be? Let me know in the comments down below. I consider myself a person who loves to read books, and I and I do love to read books. But I think if it's an amazing movie with a great story, I'm definitely picking a, a, a movie. Like guys, come on, nothing like a nice movie night. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what your answer is in the comments down below. And without any further ado, let's begin. All right, let's do this. Okay, sorry, before I begin, I, I have to say I already love the instruments that they're using and it's already giving it a completely different vibe than the original format of the song. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Every time I look in the mirror All these lines on my face to know how to win wow i love her voice very um she has a very um classic voice like um she reminds me of the, like a singer from the 80s or the 90s very sharp very you know powerful but also very she has a very soulful voice and like a very soulful undertone. I love, I love the little runs that she's doing in between. And uh, she has a lot of 
voice uh, command. Like she's really commanding uh, the song and the voice and the words, which is pretty cool. I love it. understand is that whenever you're sustaining a word or a phrase um, you're basically tensing your muscles in your diaphragm and you know just controlling the air that comes out the flow, flow of the air and to do to be able to do all that while um, creating so much impact uh, on the word and controlling how you deliver the word with you know the style or the character that you put into it is a lot of work you know and i hope viewers watching this really understand that and holy moly her voice is incredible so strong and then when she went into that real that that note that she held on for that she sustained for so long and had equal amount of power from the time she started it till she ended it was just whew, amazing so good
Sing for the years, sing for the laughter, sing for the tears. Sing with me if just for today. Maybe tomorrow the good Lord will take you. You guys, there is so much I want to say. Okay, before I forget though, I loved how she ended the song on a softer note. And holy moly falsetto, holy head voice, holy crazy soprano whistle note, insane vocal chords, man. This girl is wild. I honestly did not have too much expectations because I've heard so many covers of Aerosmith's Dream On. I don't, I mean, like, you know, it's, it's because, you know, he's just like an incredible singer and it's so hard to emulate or even try to emulate what he has delivered in this, in this song. And she has blown it out of the water, like incredible. She has a very powerful voice and it's very, um, she, like I said, she gives me that 80s 90s like rock uh chick voice like she has that um that style and that power and oh my god and she has lungs for days <laughs> some of the notes that she held on to i was like girl and then she holds on to those notes and then ends them with either a run and oh my god so many beautiful things she did in between the little head like the little head voice that she went into and was you know doing uh and was like harmonizing with the with the band at the back and then she went into like a beautiful falsetto um she had some beautiful airy notes in between god she did she did a lot i am absolutely like very 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 impressed and very inspired you guys this was incredible. Thank you so much for requesting this song and I'm so happy that I did it. I absolutely loved it. I actually want to go and listen to more of her music and the band killed it. The band just killed it. I mean, everything about the song and the way they presented it in the video was amazing. I loved it, thanks. And yeah, amazing. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, please give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Join the family. And yeah, I'll see you all with another video. Today's special shout out goes to Daryl Spur. Daryl, thank you so much for all the love and support that you've shown on my channel. I see you and I appreciate you. And as I always say, be humble, be honest, be human. Mwah. Bye.